hello viewers welcome to my youtube channel at easy surveys where i make survey practices easier and educative here in this video tutorial i want to introduce everyone to the top five autocad commands you should know so the top five autocad commands you should know go store so the first i'll show you is the quick select command all right so looking at what we have on this topo map so this is a topographic map and um, this is a detail map in particular all right so we have the features and different uh, icons and color for each details on it so looking at this let's check the legend what this is so this is a tree okay these are trees all right and trees is under the classification of vegetation just like what you see here is green for bush and this is expected to be a green color and not this color so let's find out what the color na name is so by coming to properties you highlight the details of interest then you come to properties okay it is cyan all right so here we want to change this color of the trees to green all right as a novice then what i do then was to highlight each features i want to edit or change the color then i'll come to properties and change it to color of interest green but as you can see this is very stressful and time consuming okay i have numerous features of trees here so how do you do it at a go that is why we are here so the first command i'm going to introduce to you is to do this easily so you right click scroll down to quick select all right on your quick select make sure this is on the entire drawing this is on multiple then click color to check color all right then you scroll down okay to value the color icon here you click on it then you scroll to the color of the details you want to change so it is cyan just like what we saw earlier then you click on ok all right as you can see it has select all features of that uh, attributes so all you have to do is to come to properties come to this color symbol here then you choose the color of interest so i'm just going to click on green then you press escape all right on your key but so as you can see it has changed to green and that's just it okay. to save energy and time all right so the next thing on the list is the command t count so as you can see all your property service is expected to have the pillar numbers okay pillar numbers comprises of test and numbers so here you can see this is only test pt and pt just test 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 so the point series so to label this according to the pillar numbers is the command we want to introduce to you all right so to do that as a beginner then what i do is to double click on the test of interest then i start editing manually one by one which is time consuming and stressful imagine you having like 50 uh, pillar numbers you want to edit serially so you can see how time consuming and energy consuming is going to be for you so to do that at a go all you have to do is to come to your command line then you type capital t count all right then you click on enter so it is going to prompt you to select the object the object of interest is the test okay you have so i'm just going to select it select it the way you want it to be numbered okay so i'm just going to go clockwisely depending on your survey drawing so when you're done selecting the test okay you click on enter so the next thing the prompt is to select order these are the three options you are going to see select order y and x okay or x y select order so the order of interest i choose is what i want the pillar number to be numbered accordingly so it is select order you have to click on so the increment is to start at a particular number and an increment of a particular value so i want it to start from one then you are going to put comma okay the increment do you want it to be one plus one which is two two plus one which is three or how do you want it so i want it to be one two three and so on so one comma one is what i'll be using okay when you are done with that you click on enter all right so what you'll be seeing on the screen is overwrite prefix surface find and replace so overwrite is you don't want the test to be appearing there all right you don't want the test the uh, prefix is number okay before the text why the surface is the test okay before the numbers 
then okay so that's just it so what we want in the course of this video is the surface the number after the test so we want pt1 pt2 and so on so we are just going to click on surface so you can see i have pt1 already here so let's go and look at so you can see pt2 that is 0 0.1 0 0.2 and the last point automatically 0.4 so that is how to label your pillar numbers accordingly at a go without stress all right so that is the second command the third command is the fillet so you can see here at this road junction i have a sharp edge at this road junction i have a sharp edge okay so but what i want is a curved edge and not a sharp edge so to ease that all you have to do is just to type f on your work environment which is fillet you click on that okay then below you are going to see the instruction so you click on radius okay on radius you click on radius of curve okay so i'm just going to use 10 in the course of this training video you can use any figure okay then click on enter all right so you click on the first line then you are going to see it change to a curve so as you can see it has changed to a curve then the next is to repeat the command all right by clicking enter on your keyboard then it's going to repeat the command okay then you can see it's a curve already so you click on escape then you can control s to save your job as you go so that is the third command of interest all right so the fourth command is to paste to original coordinates all right so let's say you want to work on a new work environment all right however on the new work environment you need these boundary lines all right you need these boundary lines of this survey of this property so when you open a new work environment let's say this is a contour okay so this is a contour and so this contour is meant for this uh detail uh map okay so i just want to overlay this property into this contour all right so, so the only thing we need is just the boundary of this uh of this survey okay so, so i'm just going to click on it right click okay then you scroll down to clipboard okay then you click on copy so when you click on copy you just open the new work environment what you want to overlay the boundary line on okay then you right click then you go to clipboard then you scroll to the very down paste to original coordinates okay so you click on that so it is going to overlay the perimeter of this property on the contour okay so you don't need to start plotting all over again this perimeter you can as well copy other informations other details okay with the same command all right so maybe you need the uh the information of the uh of the lines okay which is the uh angles and the distances all you have to do is to highlight it okay you highlight it as you've highlighted you right click the same process clipboard copy all right then you come to the work environment of interest okay then you right click clipboard then paste to original coordinates so you are going to see that at the right coordinate so that is command number four so you can see these commands are beautiful and it's going to ease your work on the card environment so let us undo that for the angles and distances all right so all you have to do is to paste to original coordinates and you're going to see all features at their respective positions so command number five which is the last command on the list okay so if you have watched this video to this instance do well to hit on the subscribe icon now tap on it now to keep getting first hand information as we keep uploading videos on this channel thank you so the next thing is the trim command this trim command i'm going to tell you why it is different what i want to show you the last one is totally different from what you are familiar with so you can see this is my uh, boundary lines and the contours features are actually crossing the boundary line so i want to trim this okay at a good all i'm interested in are the contours within the survey property okay so these that are outside i want to trim it away so 
what I do as a novice then is to come to trim icon here then click on trim then start to you know uh, single-handedly trim and um, trim and um, trim okay but if you continue doing it like this this is going to be time consuming and um, energy draining so all you have to do is to follow the simple guideline to trim all at a go so what you do is to come to the command line you type tr okay which is trim you click on it then below you are going to see options like cutting edges crossing mode project and erase okay so what you click on is crossing simply means all lines that are crossing any intersection is going to be trimmed so all you have to do is just to okay trim it at a go like that so you can see it is much more easier than than the first step okay so that is just going to trim out all you don't need on your okay on your topo so it's just going to trim that all at a go so it's quite much more easier okay to trim this way than the first step all right so that's just how you're gonna do for all other okay all right so it's kind of easier that way so if you check what is here you can actually you know use that same process to trim out these spots we are not trimming out the boundary line we are just trimming the contour lines that are outside of the boundary so that is just how we're going to do all that so for the test you can actually trim the test all you have to do is to delete so you just highlight everything then you click on delete highlight everything delete that is for the test which is the contour IDs contour IDs okay so guys if you find this video helpful all right do where to hit on the subscribe icon right now and turn on the notification bell so that you can keep getting first-hand information on this channel freely Then guys thank you for watching i hope to see you again